In this video, I don't pretend to give a precise explanation about how circular saw kickback happens. I just try to show this phenomenon to those beginners who don't know about it. I made this video in Spanish some time ago, because in Spanish there is a lack of information about this issue. I am not a professional carpenter, and I have little knowledge about kickback. But because I translate my videos to English, I thought I should also translate this one. Maybe some things I say in this video are not correct or explained precisely. So if you want to know more about Kidback, you can find a lot of information about it in English. And if you are an expert and you think something I say is not correct, feel free to comment about it. First, I will show you my old circular saw. It's been with me for years, but now I will stop using it. The main reason why I will stop using this circular saw is because at some point the blade guard began to disturb me. This was because the blade guard began to bump into the wood when I was going to cut some board, so I should open it by hand. So one day I decided to remove that guard bad idea. My recommendation is never remove the blade guard. It is there for some reason and it is dangerous to use a circular saw without a blade guard. And that is the reason why I bought a new brand circular saw. I could install the guard to my old saw, but I cannot find it. What I like most in my old circular saw is that this saw has this riving knife behind the blade. This is my new brand circular saw, with the blade guard. This guard has two wheels in the front, so the guard opens easily when I use it. And I made sure to buy a circular saw with a built-in riving knife. I am sure this one will last at least as much as my old Bosch. Then let's suppose I am cutting a board, and here we can see inside the cut. And this is the front of the cut. The disc cuts this way, while the disc spins, the teeth move up in the front of the disc, and they cut while they move up. The reaction is that the front of the saw is pushed down against the board. The problem is that in the back of the disc, while the disc spins, the teeth move down. The teeth should enter in the slot, so there they should cut nothing. But sometimes, if the wood is not adequately dry, if we try to cut green wood, if the disc is not in good condition, it is dirty and full of resin, sometimes the teeth grab the wood while they move down, or sometimes with green wood and with not the right wood, there are some internal tensions in the wood, and that can close the slot. So the wood to each side of the slot press the back of the disc. If that happens, the back of the disc cannot move down and sometimes the circular saw jumps backwards. The riving knife makes it more difficult that the teeth grab the wood, so it helps to prevent kickback. But a riving knife won't protect 100% against kickback. So now I removed the riving knife. If the back of the disc grabs the wood, the circular saw can jump backwards, so when I cut, I try to hold the saw firmly. And I also avoid to be behind the saw when I use it. Now let's see what happens when there are some internal tensions in the wood, and that tensions close the slot and press the back of the disc. I will be far from the saw when I plug it in. 
I use a clamp to close the slot against the disc. And I move the saw back to make sure the wood is pressing the disc. Well, here we can make an idea on how much it can jump when a kickback happens. It scares me if I think I could be there. Now I'll do the same, but with 20 pounds on the saw. Some people recommend to set the depth of cut so we only have one tooth under the wood. But we must make sure we block correctly the depth of cut adjustment knob, because if the saw falls down while we cut, it can happen a kickback. Kickback can also happen when we use the cross cut sled and the meter cut sled. But before I talk about it, I prefer to read your comments about this issue. Thanks for watching. You can find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. If you like my videos don't forget to like and to share them, and thanks for subscribing to my channel.